What's up, wrestling fans? I'm Joe Cronin, and welcome to another episode of Slammin' Wrestling News, the new format today. Well, not so good day for Ric Flair, as today Ric Flair announced the end of his relationship with Wendy Bard, uh, with Wendy, uh, I don't know, some Wendy gold digging bitch. I don't know, whatever it is. He announced the uh, end of the relationship. Um, so it's all over for Ric Flair. Ric Flair today announcing that his relationship with Wendy Barlow is over. So that's very sad. Um, also, in a semi-unrelated note, uh, Ric Flair just took to Twitter to announce he's got AIDS. <laughs> 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 but in all seriousness, he's probably got AIDS. And I can already see it in the comments section now. Oh, you think it's funny to joke about AIDS? Yeah. Biff Busick, Oni Lorcan actually talked to Mark Sterling, and he talked about how before he was hired by the WWE, he had actually received a tryout, and he was actually banned from a WWE. He's also banned from most hospitals in Massachusetts for looking too much like a cancer patient. Hey, Tony, Tony Khan, please hire me. Tony Khan, hey, Tony Khan, please hire me. Tony Khan, Tony Khan, please hire me. 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 Tony Khan, please And now, um, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to our favorite part of the show, um, counseling sessions with Rye Snatch. I, I think we really made some progress. Um... And we'll continue these counseling sessions as long as we can, unbeknownst to him, because I think it benefits him. I think he needs this. And so just nobody tell him about this. Hey, Joe, what's going on? It's me, Ryback. Um, I just want to say thank you for allowing me to have this therapy um, to get these things off my chest and send you messages. Uh, if you can hit me back as soon as possible, that'd be great. Um, having cravings again. Um, it's really bad this time. I've been thinking all day long about um, just taking Undertaker's ass, um, having his ass, having my way with his ass, and uh, while I'm and while I'm penetrating uh, Mark Calloway, I'm eating chicken nuggets on my channel live in front of a bunch of people, and the whole chat room saying Joe Cronin, and that's making me angry because I'm trying to take Undertaker's ass, and I can't come. And your name is coming up, and I'm getting really angry. And I thought about earlier I, I would go to a, the supermarket and rape people, but I'm oh, I'm not going to do that. So uh, yeah, so I'm just just telling you that I've I'm calmed down a bit. Um, I'm pretty calm right now, and uh, I have my hand in my pocket, and um, oh, I gotta go. I gotta get out. I gotta take a dump. I'll call back later if I get cravings again, but. I, I just called you to tell you I, I, I avoided uh, continuing these thoughts about taking The Undertaker's ass, um, about taking him, Good. taking it, and I won't, um, I won't finish it. I'll see you later, man. I'm, obviously, I'm really upset about the Rumble, that they didn't call me to be in the Royal Rumble, and then everybody just messaging me saying, like, hey, you know, we thought you'd be in the Rumble. That just made it worse. So I'm seriously, um, I'm almost thinking about paying uh, that little turtleneck loser um, that the WWE hired for a little while that won the ladder match with Carmella, whatever his name is. I don't know, Steve or James Ellsworth, Turtle Boy or little mini dyke face or whatever, oh, it, whatever he was. God. James Ellsworth is what it was. Yeah. I'm thinking about paying him uh, $500 to come down here to uh, Vegas and I just like stretch him out. You know, I stretch his, stretch his out, stretch him out and uh, rip his friggin' head off. Anyway, uh, I gotta go. I'll message you again later, man. Uh, thanks. Please don't share this out anywhere, okay? All right, thanks, man. Later. Wow. Um, okay. Uh, well, I, I definitely... This is why we do these therapy sessions. Um, you Please do not... I'm going to have to message him about not going into grocery stores and attacking people sexually. But anyway, do you guys love my show? If you really love my show, then you got to support it. I'm talking about we need like at least 100 of you guys to support it right now. That's not a joke. We have 220-something patrons. Guys, so many people have much more support. 
Um, we need like 350 patrons at least. I'm not joking about this. So guys, why don't you go ahead and turn 18 with me right now? And by, by 18, I mean 25, a $25 producer. All you got to be is 18 and older. All you got to have is $18 or more. So sign up now on the Patreon. Turn 18 with me right now. And by 18, I mean $18, baby. Do you want to turn 18 with the Joe Cronin Show? For $18 or more, you can become a patron right now and keep this fucked up content going. Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. When you become a patron of $18 or more, all your wildest fantasies will come true. Are you ready to turn 18 or more? For $18 or more, become a $25 producer right now and turn 18. Now on Patreon.com slash Joe Cronin Show. Sad news for Leo Rush. It's being reported that he... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that, oh my god that photo um it's being reported that leo rush um got injured he was taken to the er during pwg bola night two pro wrestling gorilla held night two leo rush faced buddy matthews and due to an injury uh rush was being injured uh was injured earlier in the match and um all of a sudden, apparently, Leo Rush was taken to the hospital. Um, fans were reprimanded for throwing drinks at the ring, which led to him slipping. That may have led to Leo Rush's injury. Excalibur reprimanded fans after this, and they accepted responsibility according to those in attendance. The injury point was when Buddy hit uh, the, the Rollins-style curb stomp, um, and we're not sure exactly what happened. Um, but just to be honest with you guys, I'm not good, but I will be good and I'll be back. I'll be dangerous man of the hour. That's what uh, Leo rush wrote, but there are some rumors that he could be suffering right now in the ER and dying. Some people may think, Joe, that's not funny. Well, I, uh, while you might say that, I obviously am making jokes here because there's a wrestling channel called Wrestling News Now that thinks it is funny. And they do stuff like tragedy, suspended, sad return, and my favorite, Sasha Banks' sad update. This might be my favorite of all time, you know? And so before you get mad at me for jokes, remember, there's a wrestling channel out there that's super serious about telling you guys and making you think that your favorite wrestlers are dead in the hospital every single day. That's right, right before the Royal Rumble, apparently Sasha Banks' sad last days. <laughs> you can't make this up. They've got thousands of videos. And on top of that, the best part about it is they just keep making them every day and you people keep watching them. That's right, blame the fans if you're mad at somebody. Roman Reigns' sad goodbye from four weeks ago. Does anybody remember Roman Reigns having a sad goodbye? I don't. Roman Reigns, sad goodbye. 250,000 views. And if you're mad at my little show that gets about 1,000 or 2,000 views per video now, maybe you should be mad at Wrestling News Now, who almost has a million subscribers for basically telling you every day that another wrestler is going to die and suffer. Wow, they sound like nice people. <laughs> I hope their mothers die of ovarian cancer slowly while staring into the moonlight alone on a cold winter's night. Then I hope a hobgoblin comes down from Bethlehem and we find out Christianity is real, but the meaning of it is so that gods can come to earth and suck the life out of people slowly while our children watch us all die. Anyway, I'm Joe Cronin. This is The Joe Cronin Show. And if you really like this video, you better become a patron because you don't want this stuff to go away. I'll do a damn video like this every day if, if you want. And if you really like this video, leave a super thanks down below and I will pin the top one to the top of this video. Leave the comments. Spread all your comments around down below like Paige would spread her flower to the WWE undercard. I love you all so much. Have a good day. Don't take things too seriously. And remember, sad update. Richard Simmons raped a dog. We'll see you next time.